Millville. It's Thursday. Thursday, and we're rolling out. We got uh, six hours and 38 minutes. And my husband made me walk oh, yeah. all the way to Starbucks if I wanted Starbucks. And if you know where Quick Trip is in Grain Valley, that's like, that's a long walk, y'all. I'm sweating currently, but we got Starbucks and caffeine for Sky Monster. And we're hitting the road. And we have no cruise man, which feels super freaking weird. Super weird. We're no going side side. to one of his favorite places, a track, and he's not with us. So my mom has him this weekend, and Vicky has him Sunday. It's a mom and dad weekend to Melville. Here we go. Yeah. here for a few days the necessities <laughs> good night good night internet well we made it to minnesota millville babe <gasps> i forgot my retainers oh no look i reminded you <laughs> we made it to minnesota it's a lot colder than uh we thought it was gonna be well it's you said it was going to be but it's like nice but it's chilly we have no ac on and we're going to bed with no child which is really Really freaking weird. We set up everything. JP changed some tires. I we went over to JP and Bobby's pit and changed tires, hung out. And now we're going to bed. It's 11 o'clock, 11.30. It's probably like midnight at this point. And we're going to bed and starting over tomorrow. We practice tomorrow. We need to finish setting up. And <laughs> good night. Right. You cooking? Good morning, good morning. Good morning, honey. Hi. It's cold in here. All I brought was this grandma sweater and a blanket in the closet, and we have no heat on. Did which. you not bring hoodies? I brought a hoodie. An actual hoodie with a hood on it? No. Still dealing with that wild oh, didn't I say to bring a hoodie? It's gonna be cold at night. Is that not what I told you? So, Weird. Good morning. I just FaceTime Cruz, who slept in his bed all night. Of course he did, because he's not with us. Never fails. Always. Anytime he's not with us. We're just gonna eat breakfast, make some coffee. It's kind of a slower morning. Practice doesn't start till 10. It's like seven something right now. I don't even know. We got up a little before seven. We still need to set up our pit area, like where his bikes and stuff go. You know the drill. full-length mirror so this is how the outfit of the day is going I'm just wearing this black crop tank from Target I think it was like five dollars my old navy leggings I'm wearing my checkered vans per usual because they're the most comfy um, I'm wearing my old set because I don't want to get my new set dirty yet and this flannel from Target it's just an oversized I guess it's gray it's like a gray blue it has brown white and then my going nowhere fast top day one we're gonna go set up for practice Make some coffee, maybe. done one practice we have three more to go supposedly and already charging my phone I did an outfit change shorts is a must right now it is pretty freaking hot but I know it will cool down so 
put my leggings on later. I keep getting pictures of Cruz having the time of his life with my mom and dad in Charlotte. They skipped daycare today and they are, actually I have no idea where they're at. They're at a farm, but I don't know what said farm is, so. They're having so much fun. I got a cute picture of him riding a tractor, he's eating ice cream, just, this is the best angle. <sighs> Busting. Bring the ruckus to the track, they say. And said ruckus breaks down on us. So freaking good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. It's deep now. Honestly, I think it's probably a fast. Taco night. Got a little tick in the motor. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes to not have to walk to your pit to get my fifth tire <laughs> Good morning. It's Saturday, it's race day. We are ready to go. It is 7.30. I think Scott's alarm went off at 6.15. I don't think we got out of bed till like 6.45, so but that's okay. Everything's like ready to go. Um, practice doesn't start till 8, so we have plenty of time. Scott needs to get geared up and ready to go. Okay. I'm just gonna curl a couple pieces to make it look a little better than it does. I slept way better last night than I did the night before, which was great. Last night we just ended up heating up some tacos and Scott and I had dinner and then we kind of just hung out with everyone. Our ruckus broke yesterday. I don't know like exactly everything that went wrong, but some type of fuel pump went out or needs a new one or I don't know, something. So they rigged up, and then JP rigged up a water bottle fuel pump. I think I vlogged a little bit of that. And you know what? It works and that's how we're getting around this week. So it's kind of funny because that thing hasn't run in a few years. It just sits in our garage and Scott got it running for this weekend. He was like, I'm going to bring this. It's lighter in travel instead of our side by side. And I was like, oh my god, that's wonderful. And then we get here day one and it breaks. So that's a little frustrating, but Ready for a cup of coffee, drinking a water. I don't eat breakfast right when I wake up usually, so I'm not gonna eat right now. We have a writer's meeting at like 8.45. Probably eat breakfast after that. Good morning. Race day, babe, how do you feel? We're here, we're ready. We're gonna go rip. Oh, just go ride like I know how, we'll be fine. Just have fun and ride. Have fun, I just need to ride like I've rode here a thousand times growing up like I, all the good times I've done here so I just need to just need to repeat that so exercise to get you going with some doodles are getting the iPhone footage for the rest of the weekend so my camera didn't break but I'm out of storage and what happened was I broke our laptop because I spilt seltzer on it and the mouse wouldn't work so it's been at the i or the the apple store i almost at the iphone store the apple store getting fixed and it's fixed but they called us yesterday when we were in minnesota to come and get it so obviously we can't get it um but i'm out of storage and i'm nowhere i only have one memory card and i'm nowhere to put that footage until that we get the laptop so the rest of the weekend will be on my iphone and to be honest it might be better footage and clarity because I have a huge like glare on my lens like there's a big scratch on my camera lens so every footage that's outside always has a glare it is so nice right now it's a little chilly it's starting to warm up a tad but I think today is supposed to be pretty cloudy and it's supposed to rain later tonight just filling up Scott's heat bottle for later practice one is done and it went well. He looked better than he did yesterday already. He just needs to go faster. So, and he knows that. Riders meeting 845 and then races. So Scott thinks he'll only get two motos in today. So we will, we will see. There's like some LCQ races and all that for some divisions. Let's get today. Moto 2. 
The first one for plus three. Hopefully this one's better than the last one. Yes, I'm evil. Yeah, 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 I'm evil. I've been feeling good, yeah, you know that it's true. You say that you love me, baby, what you tryna do? It's raining in the way. Every day is sunshine and rainbows. I've been looking good, trying to hit the mangoes. Take a trip out to the beach, just see where the day goes. Put a smile on my face, yeah, I feel it. Lost in the sauce, like I made a couple millions. Broke with an attitude, girl, you acting basic. Good morning, happy Sunday. It's race day number two, and got the fire going it's freaking chilly here it's like 50 something degrees outside right now and it's only supposed to get to like 65 at like 3 p.m but the sun is supposed to get out so that's like exciting um so I just got dressed and ready for the day i didn't vlog when i first got up because honestly i was half asleep i have not been sleeping well in here and i cannot get enough chapstick on my lips because they are so dry. I just washed my face, brushed my teeth, put on some tinted moisturizer that has some SPF in it, and I just am wearing my green tank top from Target, and then, of course, you can't even see what leggings and tennis shoes. I just got a text from my mom that said Cruz slept okay last night. He woke up at one again um, and came to their bed, and now he's eating M&M &M pancakes, so he's doing just fine now, um, but he's definitely put my parents through a non-sleeping weekend and didn't nap yesterday either. So we're very grateful and appreciated of them taking Cruz this weekend. We could have brought Cruz, um, and actually there's been a few times this weekend I've been like, mm, I miss him, and I wish I would have brought him seeing like other kids. Last night there was live music, and other kids were dancing and having a good time. Cruz would have loved that. And just being at the dirt bike track, that's like his favorite place, and I felt kind of guilty not bringing him. But on the other side of that, the last two days it's been pretty hot and it's been a lot of walking and a lot of back and forth um with scott racing and like me being able to focus on just scott and like enjoying that time and like the things you got to do to race like you know the goggles the snacks the waters the just everything i felt like kind of relieved in a way and i don't know i don't want that to come off bad but like kind of felt nice not having a second kid here to take care of essentially and Scott and I joke about that like there's two kids to take care of on race day so Scott's capable of doing it on his own I just like to help and like to do anything that I can to make it a little easier yesterday's race day I'll let Scott recap at the end of the weekend but it did not go good um he was involved in two first turn like the starts pileups um guys went down in front of him and he had nowhere to go and it happened twice and Unfortunately, JP was in the second one too. So the boys did not have a great day yesterday. Um, they did get up, everything's fine, everyone's healthy. And they finished the race and did all that they could, but there's only so much you can do in five laps and with 37 guys out there. So we're gonna chalk that up, it happens. And if we can do better and we can be better and we can try to stay away from that stuff today. And yeah, we're just gonna have a good day of racing. And we had no expectations coming into this. And that's no excuse like you always want to win or get better or do better so we're just here and we're gonna race and then get home to our sweet baby and see what unfolds from there the boys are already talking about racing plans of like doing fun races um together so i'm excited him and bobby are a lot of fun to hang out with the coffee and the rv I like hits different what are three things you want to do today pull shot okay uh not getting a first turn crash that's goal number one that's one i already thing. talked about it okay, you're running here <laughs> we're not gonna do. Um, uh, and ride more like myself i'm not riding like myself very well and and have a good attitude i mean, enjoy it have fun that's what i need to do that's more right. than anything we like to do this i get all God, stressed dang. out i do this because i like it right and i get all stressed out when i don't do well for no reason at all all on my own and uh I need to get it together and just have fun. Yeah, I agree. But, uh, Day two racing. Is it too early for caffeine? I think we might, you might need it. I just ordered, I just ordered some. Ordered? I just made some. <laughs> oh.